know the red stuff? Come find me. Come back soon if you're still kicking.
has burned through the wine he stole. A shame. I would have considered the debt paid had they been recoverable. Stay away! Those puddles are the only things keeping the shapes out of my house! Ah, ha <laughs> ha, banishing ward. Quite resourceful. Even drained, those bottles contain a form of power. You will have to smash them to break the ward around the house. Whatever vestige of humanity remains. A thousand gratitudes. You are ever our valued guest. The Lodge will remember. way, or did Chiptune twist you into the malign creature you now are? Who can say? Now, let us continue our duet of despair. I require the wailing of Hungry Wolven, preferably with blood on their breath.
good or get dead, scrub. That's the screaming one, right? A lost one's wails torn between this world and another. That will allow my sinister sound to transcend this mortal plane. Find the frostbiter banshee. Ah, use the bell. Yes. Just what I do. Stop contact. You'd better defend yourself unless you want to end up in my dark. Scrub! Huh? 
Bring it, Scrub. Hell yeah! Drop the beat on him and his insidious followers. You must be DJ Midnight's assistant. Well, she's a hellacious hack, an audio amateur, a nefarious novice. She can't handle the Banshees well, but maybe she can sample your stream instead! <laughs> Do me a solid and scream into this cursed recorder, will ya? A little louder! I can still hear out of my left ear. Oh, that's 
from Marcus. His letter says... <clears throat> Gotta get into the voice here. Dear customers, I won't be able to make it to the wedding, mostly because I'm philosophically opposed to destination weddings. So really, this is on you. But here, never say I never gave you anything. But don't get used to it. This may drive you mad if you're not mad already. <laughs> I can only wonder what evil the sinister song may call to our presence. Never born witness to you. indescribable, intoxicating. The sinister song is complete.
you will be cursed. I won't tell you how it will happen or when or by whom, but know this. The curse will pursue you into the depths of hell and back again, slowly infecting your friends and family and future loved ones. So go ahead! Knock again! So I've got this corkboard, right? Covered in newspaper clippings and pictures and red yarn. The whole shebang. I finally put the pieces together because I'm not crazy. I'm just the only one who sees it. The bonded are bad, sure, but him? It all comes back to him. Mancubus freaking blood tooth. I mean, just listen to that name. He must be the source of all our troubles. It's the only thing that makes sense, right? I mean, he's so freaking creepy. How could he not be evil? I don't trust that guy. No siree. The detective isn't answering. Perhaps the nearby townsfolk have seen him. I mean, crap. Well, I'm home, but if you're here to feed me to the monster, you should know that I ate, like, a lot of spicy food today, so I'd probably just give it indigestion. Yeah. Let's go with that. Okay, bye! Please don't talk to me. Every time I speak, I have to... Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, <laughs> sucks to be you! <clears throat> but uh, while I'm here, any idea where Burton Briggs got off to? Ah, damn it. You're talking to me. Okay, I think Burton was talking to Halan a while ago. Uh, there we go again. Thanks, appreciate it. Good luck with the, uh, vomiting. Oh yeah, sure thing. You're very welcome. Whoops, I spoke again. Ugh, screw this curse. Oops. <laughs> Holy crap! You scared the bequeezus out of me. What do you want? Trying to pin down the whereabouts of Burton Briggs. Any ideas? I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack at this rate! Look, I saw Burton with... What did you... Did you just... No? Okay. Saw Burton with Gina. Leave me alone, I'm... What was that? Nothing? I'm okay. I'm okay. Alright, guessing you're cursed too? What's your thing? Oh, piss off with all that. I don't need this right now. Or ever! Screw you! Uh-huh. Look, just tell me where Burton Briggs is at and I'll leave you alone. Burton? That drunken moron who plays detective? Yeah, I know where he is. Told me he was going off to the freaking cemetery, like an idiot! Now get out of my face! Okay, good luck with your blood pressure. Morons! Everyone's morons! And I'm so angry about it! Ah! What you hiding, Space Rocks? When the black moon rises and the stars begin to show, 
the blood red shadows will grow and grow. What? No applause? That was my entry for this year's witchy. Ugh, I thought I had it that time. I guess it's back to the drawing board. <laughs> Not at the Morgan residence, did they? Well, too bad. Chili's for family only. And a few friends. So oh, Ann Jubber's my pet mini Sasquatch. But that's it!
no. Seriously, you isn't there something more important you should be doing? Now that was a brig of the Felis Idol. She is known for luring cats into clothes dryers. I am quite serious. Always check your dryer before you start a load, lest you make the same mistake I once made. Poor PD. Quiet, stay still. Hey, uh, you really saved my ass, friend. Thank you. Now, uh, what's I doing here again? Oh, right. I almost forgot that I can't remember anything. It's my curse. Name's Burton. Burton Briggs. But I think I go by Bert. Let's try it out. Call me Bert. Uh, what's up, Bert? No, that's not right. Burton it is. So, what's your story, friend? Dealing with a cursed ring, but I'm a little in the dark and I need some recon. Cursed ring? Hmm. I've got a hunch it's got something to do with those bonded. And I always follow my hunches. I think. But if it's the bonded you're investigating, you should head to the town archives. Here, this key should get you in. My way of saying thanks. As for me, I can't remember what the six and a half hells I was doing here, so I'll head back to the old uh, lonesome shop. Now that we're working together, here's a completely unsolicited monologue about my life. Really? You don't have to... It all started with, well, I'm not sure. I'm a man without memories. There's just a cloud of dark fog in their place. But I know I'm searching for something. Answers to questions I've already forgotten. Wait, what was I saying? Nah, never mind. You're busy. Did you hear that, Stuart? Our guest has arrived. Have you prepared the place settings? Well, is the blood trap clear? No? Well, let me know when you've cleared it and I'll open the door. You there, just wait. Uh, my husband's clearing the blood trap. We'll be with you shortly. Just between us, Bolt Hunter, I feared this weekend wouldn't have enough excitement, but now we are embroiled in the cult secrets, diabolical curses, and great big monsters. I'm still wrestling with this mystery. I really don't know whether I go by Burton or Burnham. Wanderers abound, friend. Murderized! I am alive! Ah! Ah! 
archives keep strange, unknowable hours. Mostly because they're not posted anywhere. Only way in is through the old librarian, Harriet. down. This is a place of quiet learning and solemn contemplation. Hey, Harriet. Let them in, won't you? I helped you find that missing locket, didn't I? Oh, fine. But don't you cause a ruckus, you hear me? And this makes us even, Bert. Why that work? I wasn't sure if that locket bit was true. Now, you'll want to make your way to the holography room find what you're searching for. The hollow projector will have some info on the town's history. Revelations it has for us. This is the start of a whole new life for us, my darling. Right, right. The founders, Vincent and Eleanor Olmstead. Uh, you'll find more holotapes around the archives. Uh, I'm guessing. I'll let you handle this bit. You'll have to excuse me for a moment. Uh, I must be stolen defensive. <sighs> If I were the Olmsteads, I'd hide my past where nosy citizens wouldn't happen across it. Wait. Am I Olmstead? No, 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 that's not right. I'm Burton. Burton Briggs. Or Bert. Lament your... That's 
dead, scrub. I kill in the name of. <laughs> Can't stop the body. of a wet fart. That one was Jerry, Lord of Paper Cups and Lemon Juice. May he and his foul, stinging works never trouble our shores again. Good riddance. Yeah. <laughs> 
27. My beloved has made a fascinating discovery. Go on, tell them, dear. I am thrilled to report. The mountain above Githian's resting place is home to a treasure trove of ancient ruins that seem to be from some sort of precursor alien civilization. There are technological marvels inside that mankind has only seen in dreams. This could change everything! Even more fascinating, my initial studies hint at a link between Githian's eternal life and the technology itself. This will require further experimentation. Uh, do be careful, my beloved. There are some lines we should not cross. It is called the Eater of Hearts, after all. <laughs> Darling, really? You worry too much. Interesting. But there must be more. Find another tape. Again, uh, not ordering you around or anything, just, just trying to help. I have a hunch there's another way in. There always is, friend, if you're clever. See if maybe there's a ventilation shaft or something you could get into. Always follow your hunches, friend. That's what I think I do. Let me stop you right there. You already told me. I did? Damn this curse. I'm sorry. I, I forgot. See, I lost my memories. There's a cloud of... Yep, dark fog. Heard it. Got it. Oh, right. Okay.
space map. Research log, day 162. I am worried about Vincent. He is obsessed with Githian's heart. I can hardly understand the things he's been saying lately. He believes the heart holds the key to eternal life, but we still barely understand the mutagenic and metaphysical properties of Githian's power. I don't know what to do. Wriggle all you want, Worm. It will make no difference. Serving up fresh hot dip. <laughs> I'm feeling it. You sure got her blood up. You must be close to something. The founders had an office just beyond the archives. I've got a hunch there's something of interest in there. And I always follow my hunches, most likely. Don't go asking me how I remember that. I don't know. Dark fog could be a fickle mistress. <laughs>
Through me, now it flows through you. Destroy them. 
on that last swarm. In the meantime, once you wriggle back to your burrow, tell my Vincent I'll see him again very soon. Welcome back to my humble establishment. I am over here at the counter. Yeah. Firearms in every flavor and Marcus Munitions. Lining your pockets won't make them bulletproof, you know. Disappointed. Your business is all this. 
Hello. Yeah. Hey, Slim. You said you could help me out with this? Indeed. Please place this relic you've recovered into the player so that we might reveal the mysteries of the young groom's curse. Personal log day 175. Vincent went to Githian's heart chamber alone. I chased after him, but I was too late. The heart consumed him. But he still lives, entombed within. Perhaps there is still a way to free him. Vincent's research showed the precursor technology had some sort of bond with Githian's heart. I will need something to focus this bond. A ring. Yes! I will bring a sample of Githian's heart back to our ship for further study. Ah, of course. <laughs> the ring's power comes from the monster's heart itself. Well then, our purpose is made clear. We must destroy the heart. Eldritch Adventure Ho! The monster's heart lies deep below the town. Directly below the wedding venue, in fact. That same power coursing through the young groom is blocking off all access. Well, what if we use the power of the heart to cut through the force? Eleanor said there was a piece of the heart on her research ship. Ah, there is an old doll research ship high atop the cursed mountain known as... Negul Neshai. You heard Tall, Dark, and Spooky? Head to that mountain! I'll stay here and keep an eye on the grooms. You hear me? Stay out of trouble, you crazy kids. Especially you, Wainwright. It is important to be My darling, when the vessel has to come, I shall return to the use of your talent. Wainwright, what did I just say? Winnie, no! Don't give in! I'm sorry, Alastair. I'm trying to fight it. That's better. Now good luck, Vault Hunter, and do hurry! I require a book. A uh, dome. What could be more harmless? Somewhere in the archives rests a cookbook of fathomless darkness. The Nibble Nomagon. Speak with the librarian, Harriet. She may know where it is hidden. I once kept the tome safe when the shadows were young. Now its fell text is laid bare for any fool with a library card.